Turn four. Let's see how we did today. More more messages from Ant. Did they ever stop talking? Was for threats of Micklin and Utgard. Proposes. You know this is this. See this is my my any strategy game I play. You know what you do. You sit back. You don't say a word. Wait wait. What is this? A small green crow swoops upon you and leaves a message. Your lizards do not hide well in Satis. My scouts can see them from miles away. Send some coin my way. Would remove your location from my lips to your neighbors. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. All right, so let's, let's take a look. We got our first level, uh, level two of enchantment. That's good news. Uh, battle in, in Mount Morgross. Let's see how we did. Let's just watch the battle and see how we did. So this is our, our big, this is our only army, obviously. There is a lot of archers on this one. Hopefully we survive this thing. Problem with Satis is we're very, our morale is kind of terrible. So we start taking these damage and we start panicking pretty bad. I realize my sound is probably a little high there. We should be able to take down these archers if they can get in there. Let me turn this down. Sorry. A little loud. So feel, feel the battle. All the undead are coming in, but the undead are way behind. I guess ideally I would want my, my units in the back. Some of us are running away. Um, yeah, we took them out, though. Um, how we do here? So, yeah, so we lost a lot of our, our weak guys. Another, uh, one of our Fauctioneers died. But they killed 13. Only 8 of them killed 13. These guys are really good. Um, okay, yeah, that was that was a good that was a good battle. Good fight. Corey. Oh, we got some nature gems, eh? Oh, okay. New famous hero is uh, Ilbrat. His brave, brave deeds and his heroic battle prowess are now told by bards and storytellers all over the world. It sure is. It sure is. Hey, buddy. How's it going? Are you a hero? Um, battle prowess. You now have increased attack skill. Yeah, you're all right. Gained you a leadership up to 75. You're like my first guy, aren't you? Um, what is that? You have a you have an item. Did you find the item in um in I didn't I missed I didn't even see a note for that. Okay, okay. Um, research. We have level two enchantment done, which gives us. The uh, Revive King. We can revive a, uh, a, a Mound King. Which is actually alright. Um, we want level 3 of this Raid Skeletons, which will be uh, here pretty soon. Okay, so I think now we're going to go... Oh, there's, oh, there's Utgard. Okay, yeah, we can see Utgard. Um, we need to start looking at getting our armies split in some way. So we've got a bunch of Falconeers here. They're going to go and hang out under... Matimton. Um, another rank of these. One more day of these. Let me see what I can get. What I can get made here. Can I get any more made things made? Yeah, I can. That's pretty good. So something like that. It's gonna give me a nice set of these falconeers, and we can take out. I think most of the stuff with these falconeers for that. Um, I probably should put some defense in here. I didn't do that. Um, we'll go up to like. I don't want to go that much. Which is, mm, we'll do to ten's fine, I guess. I guess. You know, I'm gonna do six. I'm a little more terrified though, since this is this is real people and not AI. <laughs> I've never played this game multiplayer. It means real people before, by the way. I've always just played against, um, well, the AI. So we'll see what happens here. So my army is. What's the army size here? How many of us are there? There is fifteen of us. Yeah, that ain't enough to take this. Um, I think what we're going to do is we're going to have this guy. He's going to be sitting here for a turn. We're finally going to have a profit in him. Um, these guys will continue researching. We'll probably let uh, Sagzu might join him as well. Uh, we got to take as much territory as we can, though. we got to get this circle taken out. What do we have here? we got 30 cavalry. Can you take this out? You took a bit of a beating. Probably not. I mean, maybe, maybe, but they're, they're cavalry, and cavalry is a little more of a problem. So let's just... I'm going to move into this territory because it's going to be really easy to take. Maybe we can get a fort set up there. Not the best place for a fort, but it'll it'll be okay. Um, we're going to move everybody. Our usual army is going to come cruising into here. I want you to search for some gems. Magic sites. See if you can find something in there. Um, you'll go into there. Uh, you're going to turn profit and do some preaching for me, please. Okay, I think that's I think that's good. 
Next turn, we'll have a bit of an army with the Falconeers, and we can move in. Maybe both these combined can take out the horses. Um, or we may just split up and head over here and take out these guys. Because that once we have next turn, we're going to have a whole bunch coming in. What will what'll, what'll that give us? That'll give us... That will give us... 15. That'll give us like... Yeah, 30. Well, yeah, we can take them out easy. Okay, so that is, I think, the day. So let's... Um, Move on to another day. We're going to walk into their territory and do some sneaking around and see what we can find. Utgard. Oh, we got to say something to Utgard. Right, was that Utgard who took that to us? Oh, Pangea. What do I say to this? Um, I don't know. <laughs> I, don't, I need to think of something. I need to be wittier. <laughs> I don't know what I'm supposed to say. Uh, um... Pangea. Send a message to Pangea. Um, our lizards do not fear your green crows. Um, 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 perhaps. Period. Period. Perhaps you should come face us in person rather than them letting your birds do all the dirty work. Okay. <laughs> Sure. All right. Um, um, you know what we could do, actually? Revive the Tomb Priest. I mean, we could take... We have, how many gems do we have? We only have 12. So we could we could get a Grave Consort. We could... Next turn, I think? I'm not sure how many, how many we're getting in return. We can maybe get a Tomb Priest in here. Provides a mound king and binds him to a service. King is intelligent, serves his master's motives. Um, let's try that. I've never actually tried that. Let's try it. We'll see what it does. Yeah, end turn. Turn five, we'll see who's talking to me this time. Oh, yes, revive king. That's right. Excellent. We have a new commander in here. Found a magic site. We did. We found Sun Ridge. Nice. Uh, proclamation from myself. Yes, um, Matt Tampton is now my prophet. I need to get those guys named. And there's a battle in the dark forest. Let's watch the battle and see how it did. This was a little bit, a little bit wary about this one. We don't have a huge force. They don't have a giant force either. But I'm, I'm a little worried about it. Let's just see what happens here. We should be able. To, the Faustineers. Oh yeah, okay. Those guys have been the fear has helped them out as well. I think Faustineers. If they can get to these archers... Oh, yeah, that piece of cake! I don't think we lost anybody. Okay, okay. Excellent. Excellent. Well, I don't think we lost anybody. Oh, we did. We lost a city guard. We lost a fashioner. Uh, dang archers. Well, okay, that's fine. Okay, so we have claimed... Uh, what do we have? What kind of size is this? Sun Ridge gives us two fire gems per turn, which is good, which we may use, actually. And this one gives us uh, an air gem as well. So that's actually a pretty good sight. So we saw up here that... Oh, that's Utgard right there. Is that what Dawes was wanting me to... How do I see my previous messages? Um, I have to go back and watch my video. I think it was... He wanted me to s let him know when where Midgard... I think it was Midgard and... Not Midgard. Uh, Miklin and Utgard. I think it's what he wanted me to let him know where they were. So... Um, I'm going to have to go back and read that. I may, uh, I'll, I'll read it, and then I'll let him know next turn. I'll, I'll let Dawes know. You know what? Maybe we can work together. Me and, um, me and the, uh, the ones that talk a lot. Um, let's go cruising into, I mean, I guess we can go see what they've got. Is that safe to do? Let's just go up here. Let's go down here, actually. What are those? Um, crossbowmen, heavy cavalry. Uh, okay, so, so on this turn, we have quite an army now. And they're all going to follow our our uh, lizard lord here. 
We have Murak the Mound King. What do you do, buddy? I don't think I've ever raised one. Oh, you're just you're just a fighter. Okay, I've raised the other ones, one that casts spells and things, like the, the ones that can raise the dead. He doesn't actually do much. Um, okay, so I'm going to have you guys work as just a big um, line formation here. Um, you're going to attack the closest enemies. And I think this one four should be able to take out a reasonable size group. Um, I'm going to put you in a line you're like that. And I want you guys to go into a line also. I keep on clicking the wrong one. You're there, and you guys are going to go line right there. Okay, so we got a nice couple of nice lines. Um, you, sir, are going to Sermon of Courage for my uh, my folks. Uh, just do that. Is there anything else that's really going to be useful for us? I may get some undead things. Actually, you know what? Resistance to a small amount. No, 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 not that one. Resistance to his undead, undead subjects. So that we could we can maybe do some of that. Just you know, throw one of those in there, um, and one of those in there, and then and then just cast spells. <clears throat> and then make sure you stay behind your line here. Um, I'm gonna send. Who should I send with him? I, mean, I guess I can send you. You can lead a pretty good sized army, actually. Just stay behind your troops. Right over here next to him. Um, that's probably pretty good. I won't bring any of them just yet. Um, only 30 units in here, so we can easily walk into that one. Which I think we should go ahead and do. So let's go ahead and march, march you into there with 30 of them. Along with, uh, along with you. And I don't think you need the, uh, the support of the spell casters. Let's just sit back and research. Um, I want you to work your way... You can make your way there. Yeah, go ahead and move in there. Um, this army is pretty small now. So they can't take much anymore. So until they get built back up, they're not going to do much. But we'll get a bunch of folks coming, uh, getting getting recruited in here, and we can send some more that direction. Um, I don't know when they're going to leave. Maybe I should just leave you here. You stay here. Um, and then I'll, I'll run you out that way. Nothing really do. Just patrol, I guess. Um, you guys, no need for a, a, what is, it? is that a province up here? Okay, I do see the line. There's 10 units? Heavy infantry and heavy cavalry, it's only 10. Is that wise to go after them? Probably not, because they're pretty heavily, and they, we're, they're heavily armored, we are not heavily armored. Let's not charge in there. Just in case. Um, so he's going to walk in there. I want you to... Um, yeah, just patrol, I guess. There's some maggot, magic sites over here. Maggot sites, sure. Um, researching, researching, patrolling. Yeah, I think that's good. 20 heavy... So we should be able to clean this stuff up pretty good. So we'll move over here. This squad... Maybe we can recruit some folks over here. Just to help them out. We don't do archers. How many can I get? Not many. What about you? I can bring in a bunch of militia. Just to sort of fill the ranks out. Just, you know, be taking some... How are you guys? You do have a little bit of defense. You got a terrible spear. What about you? Heavy infantry. Resources is what I'm short on. So, yeah, I can't really... I can't... What should do with cheapos? Morale, 8. Yeah, it's, this is fine. Just get a few of them moved into there. Um, I suppose what we could do, we could do that at the other spots, too. These guys aren't really worth grabbing. What do you have? Same things. Nothing really worth grabbing in here. Um, 10 in there. Um, no, we're not going to be blood hunting. Okay, we're good. I think we're good. Anybody need to move? No, we're good. Um, yeah, we're ready to go on. Sorry, these turns. I, I'm moving these turns a little bit slower because I'm. It's, it's been a couple days since that last turn. So. Um, all right. As soon as my prophet gets in here, I may just have him do some preaching. Or I may just rush to take both these. Plane of insanity, one eighty-eight income. 
Actually, it's pretty good. So yeah, let's just yeah, maybe we'll move. We got we got to get these two taken. Um, we'll have a new army in next turn. That can be led by the horse. That'll give us a whole bunch of these guys, which can easily take out something like. Together, they can take out this one. We could we could have our circle done next turn actually. Let me do. So these guys are gonna come over here, and then next turn we're gonna march south across the river to clean this one up. Should be easy to take. This group and the new Falconeers can come take out this one. So we'll have we will have our cap circle next turn. That's the thing. I think I was good. Okay, let's go ahead and end this. Let's, let's call it a day here. All right, turn six. I have a plan. I have a, a, a dastardly plan. So, uh, oh, another message. Well, let's read messages. Let's see what we have so far. Man says we found some things. We found that the we find that the slippery one holds court to our west. It's good that you have not crossed over the river yet into the savannah of Grace or Keld, as we lay claim to this side of the east to there. We leave you the many reaches of found in Earthscar, and inevitably cede the throne of Soulshaker Peninsular. We have armies marching to cement our claims, but will not attack you as long as you keep your desert and you to your side of the river. Okay, okay, okay. Pangea. Uh, oh, we got another crow in here. A red crow blurs towards you as quick as an arrow. It delivers a message and darts away as if in anger. The message reads, Satis has already cast the first offense and offer war, while cowardly swamp lizards do not frighten us. I did wish to share with all our main province is Satis. Oh, he's trying to threaten me because he knows where I am. Oh, I see how it is. All right, in Midgard. We gives you a hearty Viking hello to lizards people. Other peoples think lizards walking is a scary thing, but we's not worried. Drinking strong meads gives us no fear of lizards' strange smells. Vikings gives off own smells. Forest folk we talks to, but they's greedy and unwelcome. So let's be friends with lizard peoples and say we say to selves, we don't comes west and we's don't comes east. We can figures our details later. Don't gives gold to forest folk. We find out hard ways. They just takes it and then asks for more. Okay. Um, there was a lot going on there. Uh, okay, so yeah, um, so you, you know, think, seem to think they know where I am. Uh, man, which is Daz, he knows where I am. He's saying, don't cross the river of 60 or 50. Okay. He's leaving me 56. All right? And then Midgard is just sending... Uh, uh, Pangea means just sending a bunch of birds around. But they know where I am. Alright, so we have a battle in Skyplane. Let's view the battle. Let's see how we did here. So, we should be in the next couple turns be able to, to claim our, our ring. That's what we want. Quite a few of them here, but we've got a lot of Falchioneers. These guys, as long as they keep their morale, which they have some they have courage going, oh yeah, we just like fly through these guys. Uh, we're burning some of our own friends, I think. Banishment? Lothar! No, ease up with the banishment, buddy! Yeah, we, we got these guys easy. Easy peasy. We uh, probably lost a few folks there, but... How we do? Yeah, we lost three Falconers, but not bad, though. Not bad. It's pretty good. Okay. Uh, event occurred in Dark Forest. Oh, that's a lot of unrest. Um, two years, That's not good. Uh, okay. Patrolling troops in Dark Forest have killed 22 filthy brigands and trouble. And troublemakers. There are still many unruly subjects in there. Where's that Dark Forest? Uh, what's the button to turn on... I want the candles on. I do want the income box. Sure, and names. I want those on. Okay. Well, that just got really loud. Um, fine. I'll turn off the. I'll turn off the Dominion just to be key, so a little bit, a little bit easier on us. Um, income box. That's what I want. I want off. Okay. Um, okay. So he's telling me. Which one's he telling me? Oh, there's man right there. Oh, we can see him. Okay, oh, okay, okay, here. He doesn't want me to cross this river. Ah, okay, okay, okay. Well, too bad. I'm going to be going into... Is Earthscar the one he said I can have? Yeah. Earthscar, he's the one he can say I can have. Okay, well, we're going to mess with... We're going to mess with Daz a little bit. Troll. <laughs> nice. Uh, what's the one that was having problems? Dark Forest over here is having some issues. We'll have to deal with that. Um, let's, let's let's send a message to Daz. So, um, Daz wants us to know where Micklin and Utgard is. We don't know where they are. Actually, we do know where Utgard is. Um, Midgard's over there. We don't know where Miklin is. But we do know where Utgard is. So here's what we're going to do. Just um, We're just going to mess with uh, with Daz just a bit. And uh, maybe get some things out of it. So let's send a message. Over here to Man. 
You may be surprised to hear this, but the mighty lizards of Satis have eyes all over this land. It's important to know the realm you'll soon be commanding over. Perhaps we could work out a deal. We know humans have certain deficiencies, and we feel a bit of pity for you. We will not encroach into your lands, man, plus any empire's homeland you wish to know. He doesn't know that we don't know anywhere anyways. We'll send over five death gems, and we'll gladly reveal the location. So I figure, you know, he wants to know where someone is. Let's say he says, where is Micklin? He doesn't know that we don't know where they're at. We'll just tell him some random number on the map. We get five death gems. Bonus. <laughs> Works for me. Okay. Uh, we'll send that one away. People, other people, folks were sending me messages. Who else was talking to me? Um, not that one. I want to read. Let's read. Uh, Pangea is threatening me with a, these red crows. Um, where's Pangea? We don't know where he is, do we? We don't know where man is. He's got to be. Oh, there he is right there. Right there. Uh, what's that? 110. I can say I can say where he's at too. Swamp lizards do not frighten us. He doesn't wish to show where my main province is. Um alright, we can do that too. Province is one ten in Pangea, eh? Um text message to Pangea. Do not threaten the mighty Satis. I now require five death gems to keep silent, or else your feeble homeland's location will be announced to the world. Two turns to pay up. That's right. Let's get this started. We might as well. <laughs> Pangea. I gotta go figure out who's playing Pangea. I, I don't know who it is. I think maybe, is it Sabouts? I don't, I have to go look. Uh, let's see who I'm picking on. <laughs> okay, so, uh, anyway, back to our turn. We haven't even started our turn yet. I've been dealing with this. Okay, let's do some turn things. So, we have, we've claimed uh, most of our, we have Dark Forest over here is a problem. And I was really wanting to just leave this land, but now we got so much unrest over here. I guess we're gonna have to raise up some defense here um uh, we'll do like 10 of them just for now um he says i can take this one i actually never went over this and the um where is it? it's not there it's in stats and thrones of ascension so we can see which ones are are what there we have to have seven thrones right to win the game um this one what's the one he's offering me throne of what is that one How do I tell what that throne is? Oh, throne of I didn't I don't know how to tell what that one, what that one is, actually. Um, uh, yeah, I don't know. So where's this one at? Can I tell where this is, or do I have to actually go to that? Maybe I have to go to that site. I don't know. Maybe I can tell. Um. Anyways, he's saying I can have that, which I'm thinking maybe we should just like go for it. I kind of scared of these guys up here, but um. Yeah. Anyway, anyway, let's um. Let's move into here. So next turn, this next turn, we should be able to claim all this land. We've only got what's our ten cavalry there? That's it, really. That's it. Um, we have some defense here. We can move these guys in. Do we even really need them? There's only ten cavalry. Maybe we should leave these things here. Um, let's recruit a uh, a a, um, a leader here, just to get a few more folks around. I'll bring some. I don't really do I don't really do archers, but we'll bring some archers in. Just to have a few around. Um and we're gonna move everybody out. I think it's safe to move everyone out into here. Take Earth Scar. Should be an easy take. We have plenty of Dominion in there. There's only ten of them, apparently, according to my scouts, which hopefully they're correct. Um Skyplane, we can walk in here to the bridge. Um I would really like to take these, however. What's in here? Eighty units. So I can't just walk in there with this. Who's going to lead these? I don't have a leader here. Uh, I have you. You and 22. Can you take out 80? Probably not. And I don't want to risk that. However, if I could. If I could. He could come into here, and then this guy could come over this way. I need to claim these quickly before... Um, who is this over here? Midgard moves this way. These are the, these are the, the giants. Um, we can see the Dominion over here already causing problems. How many units do we have here? Yeah, we could walk into Normandy here. Yeah, man wants to leave these. Wants these two. And I'll, I'm fine with that. That's actually really good. So maybe we'll just leave that one for now and worry about this way. So maybe we'll walk into Normandy. Eh, walk into Normandy, sure. Um, and you come with me, buddy. Thinking a little more strategic, I think. We'll see if we can do that. <laughs> Not something I do a lot of. Let's walk over here and take out Normandy and try to make a. We'll try to form a line. I'm gonna get a fort here in Normandy, um, 
I think it's probably the better place than Planes of Insanity to, to defend that up. We can probably put it forward, both of them, if we wanted to. Um, over here, I don't think we can handle that. I don't know. What, hmm, hmm. What's our research at right now? We're at enchantment level two. Which means that if I send all these guys in and they come in and they just, they just start casting Animate Dead. Animate Dead over and over and over again with all of them. I think we can handle that. What are we walking into? Militia, which is lousy. And that's the most of anything. Archers, which we can handle, and heavy infantry. We can do this. We can do this. I think even with just this, we can do this. Okay, so I want you guys to attack uh, closest enemy. And I'm going to put you guys... Um, I'm going to set you guys... We're going to try something here. We're going to try a line formation. We're going to start at the, kind of at the back. Because I want these guys to cast a whole bunch of undead and to get them up there also. So we'll leave them not at the back, but just back a little bit. Um, I want you to sit back with these guys. And your job is going to be to... Yeah, just stay behind troops, actually. It's fine. Probably fine. Um, attack closest. Actually, are you a good attacker? You are pretty good. Um, you're not bad. Yeah, you're not bad at all. I mean, you're a leader, so just... You can attack um, the closest. Just stay behind there. And I'm going to send these guys in. So we're going to go with casting some spells. We're going to start off with just... I think we're just going to animate dead. Which is lifeless corpse and the holy service. Yeah. Uh, everybody. Animate dead. Everybody just animate lots and lots of dead. And uh, just cast spells. And I want you to stand right back here. And just do that. We're going to what's that, control one and then... Yeah. I'm going to send all these guys in, which is, this is kind of, not you, not you. Um, kind of risky, I suppose, because we could lose, like, our army here. But I don't think it's too bad. We'll be fine, I'm sure. We'll be fine. Right? We're not going to win anything if we're going to go uh, being cowards. So, uh, yeah, I think we're all good. All good, I think. Okay. Um, so, everybody here, I want, I want you... And you all go into here. It's only 22 of us plus a bunch of undead versus a bunch of militia. A bunch of 80. So we might not win that battle. If we don't, no big deal. We'll, we're fine. We'll get more people. Um, yeah, I think it'll be okay. They'll march, in, march into here. Um, we got... I think we're good now. You have some defense. You have a little bit. We can probably put some un, some defense in here, but I don't think it's really important just yet. We start seeing people pop up. We'll, we'll certainly do it. But right now, not a big deal. Um, not even many people here in this. What is this? I I don't know. How, I'm sure there's a way of seeing what that throne does. Maybe my scout needs to do it. Like if I see this one, can I see what it does? I don't know. Um, you go. So we know where Utgard is. I do kind of want to know where everyone is, but. Um, I'm more, I'm more concerned about knowing where my stuff is. So let's go over here. Okay. So, wait a minute right there. Um, so to win, you know what to win. Let's see how many points these are worth. But there's one there, 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 and there. Hmm. Hmm. Maybe we go for an early win. Anyway, I think we're gonna. I think we're gonna call it a day here. I think we're good. That one, we'll get maybe both these two. We're, we're going to come over here and start building a fort. I want to get this before and get my my domain, my domain, dominion over here quickly. Uh, we'll start spreading dominion as we get over here. Anyway, let's uh, let's call it a day here. Um, next turn.